Hey everybody, this is Christina, the amputee OT. As you can see from my background, I am in a hospital room. Uh, the reason for that is that I decided to get a couple of procedures done on my residual limb. A few weeks ago, I had a CT scan done of my residual limb because I was having pain in my residual limb and they found that there was a bursa in there that had like 30 cc's of fluid in it. And so that bursa was drained, but it filled back up again. Uh, and so I decided to have a surgery on my residual limb to get rid of the bursa and also do TMR. Uh, targeted muscle re is a procedure in which they take the cut nerves in your residual limb and they splice them with redundant motor nerves and that helps your nerves not form neuromas. So what a neuroma is, is normally when you have a nerve and then the nerve is cut, what the nerve ending will do is it will grow out these little tendrils to try to reconnect to the cut nerve. However, sometimes, like in the case of an amputation, the nerve is cut, but the rest of the nerve is removed because of the amputation. And so the nerve has nowhere to go. So it sends out those little tendrils trying to find the other nerve, can't find it, ends up wrapping around itself and it forms a neuroma, which is painful. And that's what happened to me. So I got targeted muscle re where the nerves in my residual limb were attached to redundant motor nerves. And I also got what is called a myodesis. A myodesis is where the muscles of your residual limb are anchored to the bone of your residual limb. So some of my muscles were anchored to my femur. I didn't have that before. When I originally got my amputation, the doctor did a myoplasty, which is where the muscles are sewn to each other, but not to the bone. The advantages of having a myoplasty is that you have more control of the soft tissues in your residual limb because the soft tissues are attached to your femur and your femur moves around. So hopefully that would result in more control of your prosthesis. So here's my nub now. It's all wrapped up nicely. And I've got these two things called an on cue, which is a lidocaine pump that continuously pumps lidocaine. Actually, it's bupiv it's bupivacaine. It's it's not lidocaine, but it's something similar to lidocaine. It's an, it's, an anest it's an anesthetic that is pumped into your residual limb. And let me tell you, it's so much better than the first time. The first time I got my residual limb amputated, it was the most pain I'd ever experienced in my entire life. It was, it was horrible. But this is totally tolerable. Like, it hurts a little bit when I move my residual limb, but it doesn't really hurt a whole lot. It's totally tolerable, and it's because of the the on cue system. So I'm in love with it. I think it's awesome. What I really wanted to do was make a video before I went in the hospital explaining why I was going into the hospital, but there was some uh, complications that would have possibly maybe caused me to have to cancel the surgery or move the surgery to a week later. And so I wasn't actually sure I was going to have the surgery until the night before. And I did record a video about it, but I recorded it in 4K on my phone and my phone will not let me upload it anywhere but my phone. So I can't really edit it on my phone. Um, I don't know why. I guess my phone just doesn't like big videos to transfer them off. I tried everything, literally everything, <laughs> and it's stuck on there. So I can't. I can't show you the videos, but it was basically just me explaining that I was going to have surgery again. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going home today, so I'm all done with my surgery. Feeling pretty good. So see you guys later. Bye.